Okay, let's go ahead and get started here, folks. Thank you for joining us. Looks like we've got a pretty good group today. Uh, new webinar today. It's something I haven't done before. I'm excited about it. We're going to be talking about um, replacements and uh, making sure that you stay in compliance when you're having that discussion. But right now is a fantastic time with um, the way rates are and just how strong annuity products are right now. Uh, replacements are a hot topic. They were towards the end of last year. They definitely are this year. Um, so we'll be talking through, you know, what are the best way to uncover those opportunities? Um, what are some of the best products to use? And how do you stay in compliance throughout that process? Um, so I'm Matt Sabala. A lot of you guys know me. Um, for those of you who are new here to IMS, we do this part on the front end of our webinar where we kind of go through our value prop. I'm going to do that really, really quickly today because you guys, most of you aren't here to be sold on IMS, um, although I think we have an excellent group here. Um, I want to share quickly with you why people like to work with us, but I'm going to spend a majority of the time on um, those replacement conversations and answering questions about that today. So we'll get started here very quickly. Um, my name again, Matt Sabal. I'm Annuity Sales Director here at IMS. Um, I've been with IMS for a little under a year now. It's a fantastic group. I've got a lot of experience in the industry and I've seen what's out there. So I can say from a very, um, I think, well-rounded perspective, IMS um, is one of the best groups in the industry, especially as it comes to service. Um, almost 38 years ago now, our founder, Charles Hiring, started IMS on a foundation of service. That's why when you call in, you're always gonna get a live person. We don't even have voicemail not because we haven't figured out how to put that in our phones yet, but it's by design. Um, we kind of have an archaic system here as far as phones go because we have an archaic um, way of looking at service. We want that um, personal touch, that live person at every opportunity. So uh, quick, quickly, why people like to work with us. One of the reasons is if you write business with us and your first six months contracted with us, we will ensure that we are keeping your sales funnel full um, during the first year that you are contracted with us and beyond. But specifically, our new producer builders or new producer bonus program, as a lot of people refer to it, is a great way to hit the ground running. You see the different thresholds there. FIA business counts dollar for dollar. Life business counts around 10 to 1 in most cases. Um, I've had several people um, newly contracted with me that have hit that million dollar level. And a lot of them have chosen for us to have three seminars put on for them. And if that's not a great way to keep their sales funnel full um, during the first couple quarters of 2024, I don't know what is. But we're flexible with this. So we're going to be talking about another resource that we have here in a little bit. Uh, we can invest in your practice a number of different ways, not just what you see here. Again, I'm being quick about this. Um, just like you guys, when you have a new client, that you're working with, oftentimes the best way to get a new client is a referral, and you're our client. And so if we do a good job servicing your needs and helping you grow your practice and giving you solutions to be more successful like you do your clients, then um, the best compliment we can receive is a referral from you. But it's not just a compliment. We don't just wanna say thank you. We want to write you a check that says thank you hopefully lots of checks. Um, $50 once that person gets contracted, then overrides on any business that they write going forward. Um, we write checks for thousands and thousands of dollars every month, every quarter, um, for people who have referred other advisors to us. Keeps you um, kind of clean in terms of not having to take on the liability of an agency if you don't want that. Um, but like if you send to somebody and they write a $100,000 annuity, um, we're going to give you 200 bucks in most cases on that. So fantastic opportunity there for, for everybody involved. Like I said, service is key to us. Our back office support, I've seen what the biggest IMO in the country has to offer there. Um, I've seen what a lot of other groups do in terms of back office support. We are very, very good at this. Um, we've got specialists with each of the carriers that understand how their back office works. Uh, so McKinsey and her team on the annuity side of the business and Michelle and her team on the life side of the business will follow your business through from submission to commission 
to ensure that we head off any obstacles um, whenever possible. And if there is something getting in the way of the, that business getting paid, that we try to take that off your plate and um, do regular follow-ups and communicate with carriers on that so you're not on the phone all day. Instead, you're in front of clients. Um, very, very good at this. I think it's one of the three things that we really excel at here at IMS. Our website, and we're going to be using it today actually as part of this webinar, um, has all sorts of good stuff on it. If your annuity or life sales director has not given you a walkthrough of the website and you would like that, and I would say if you haven't had it, it you should like to have that because there are resources on there that you may not even be aware of. One of them we'll be utilizing today, Annuity Rate Watch. But there's all sorts of product training on there. There's um, a lot of different sales resources that we can customize to your practice that allow you to market to your clients, um, to do things like a drip campaign, just stuff that we can slap your logo, your colors on it, make it look like it's coming from you. Um, really, really good resources on there in general. Uh, please let us know if you'd like a walkthrough of the website. feel like I'm skipping information here. This is very abbreviated compared to normal. So appreciate you guys uh, bearing with me here. Um, on our website, we have our e-submittal tools like Firelight, like iPipeline. If you're not using those, quite frankly, you should be. Um, our electronic submission tools um, have become the standard in the industry. And if you're still doing paper apps, I promise you, no matter how technologically disinclined you think you are, that they will save you time. Um, it might take one learning experience, um, but they cut down on mistakes and they make it easier for us to scrub the business when you send it to us before it's sent to the carrier. And it makes it easier for the carrier to scrub that business. If you need help getting started with any of those resources, please let us know. It's just a click away on our website. And um, if you submit that business through our website, our team sees it before it goes to the carrier. So again, we can make sure that there aren't mistakes when it gets to the carrier. Um, yeah, just like I said, a quick, a click away on our website. So, um, second thing I think we do really, really well, and actually one of the resources I leveraged for this webinar was our creative marketing team. We have a team of graphic design professionals, website professionals, people who do everything from business cards and stationery to brochures, websites, everything, and including up to getting you on the radio or Fox News, whatever you want. We can meet you where you're at and ensure that you look the credible part that you need in this day and age, both online and in person. And when it comes to marketing solutions to get people in your sales funnel, let us know, let your annuity or life sales director know uh, what your goals are for this year. That's an important thing to understand, obviously. Um, I say obviously, but you'd be surprised how many people don't have a goal for 2024 when I talk to them. Um, we can back in based on your goals to a marketing plan that will ensure you see enough people to hit those goals and provide an excellent return on investment. That is called our creative custom marketing analysis. And we would love to sit down with you for 30 or 45 minutes to ensure that you've had that service and then we'll provide you with that custom marketing solution um, based on what you're comfortable with, what you're not comfortable with and what your goals are to help you meet those goals. Let us know if you'd like that. I would be happy to sit down with you and do that. Um, our wealth management team helps you act as a fiduciary. If you don't have a securities license, they will join you on a call and keep a client close so they're not having to meet with another advisor. That's an excellent resource. Uh, they're a great resource to earning your license if you're interested in that. Um, if you have ever gotten into a conversation with somebody about a large case and they say, ah, let me, let me go talk with my advisor about it. Well, you're an advisor, and um, <clears throat> we don't, I hope you guys don't see that. I got a chat message. Um, just a moment. Sorry about that. Um, we don't want you to have to lose a client to uh, an advisor who offers a full suite of opportunities for your client. Um, so if you ever feel like um, you have a uh, client who may want to have a conversation with somebody who is securities licensed or you need that as a resource, make sure you let us know. We'll get our IMS Wealth Management team involved. Um, if they do decide to leave part of that money in a growth bucket with a wealth management team, 
then we will flip that client back to you once you lose, once you earn your license, or um, we'll just ensure that you have the ability to keep that client close and they have no reason to go see another advisor who may have that securities license. Um, I would encourage everybody who is at a certain level of success um, in the industry to consider getting their securities license though, because it does add to credibility for you. It does make it easier to have conversations about large cases. And um, oftentimes it allows you to get in front of people easier too. So let us know if you're interested in that, we would be happy to help you achieve that. The third thing I think we do really, really well is training. Um, we're getting ready in May, May 15th through the 17th, to have our first academy of the year. Our Life and Annuity Academy are not Life and Annuities 101. Um, this is high level, um, impactful sales and best practice training from other top advisors in the industry. We go over everything, sales processes, um, marketing, cutting edge product, um, a lot of different resources that people can implement them back in their practice. Um, the people that I've seen come out to the, these events always have new ideas and new things to try when they get back to their office that help them be more successful. Uh, maybe new marketing to implement, just kind of depending on where you're at. But um, almost unequivocally, I've seen an increase in the business that's been written by people that attend these academies. Um, when I get somebody new to IMES, and again, I've only been here a year, so most of the people I'm talking to are new to IMES, um, I try and get them out to these events, and everybody loves them. Um, it, it gets you an opportunity to meet the people that you're working with face-to-face, -face, um, but more importantly, um, these um, best practices, sales processes, um, let you see what the people at the very top of the industry are doing exactly to be that successful. Um, let us know if you'd like to attend one of these. We will have several throughout this year. Um, the one in May, we, honestly, we've got two days to get you signed up. If you would like to attend, though, please let me know now. We're going to do just a couple of these polls and only spend a couple seconds on them each. But um, if you would like to attend, please let me know. And uh, be proactive about it if you'd like to attend the May 15th through the 17th one. We've still got a couple of spots left for that. But shoot me an email at matts at iamsinc.com. M-A-T-T-S as in Sam at iamsinc.com dot com and we will try and get you there if not we'll get you to uh, one of the upcoming ones okay it wouldn't be presentation if i didn't ask you to like and follow us on social media um, we have a lot of people who are engaged with our social media platforms on facebook and facebook and linkedin it's a great way for us to recruit uh, for agents, it's a great way for us to recruit clients for our agents. Um, if your client base does not have the capability of following you on social media, please make sure they have that because it may not be important to you, but I guarantee you it's important to some of your clients. Um, and so let us know. We can help you add that to your practice. It's, it's you know, if there's any expense in it, it's very, very minimal. Um, but usually that's kind of a free service that we offer if you're writing business with us. Um, let us know if we can help you out with that. So with that, let's talk about what you guys all came here for, which is, let's see, make sure we got the right screen here. Replacements, right? I love this movie. Uh, if you guys haven't seen this, uh, this is what we're all here for today. Great early 2000s uh, movie. No, actually, um, that was really stupid. I've never tried that before. Um, okay, let's talk about what you guys are actually here for. So replacements. It's important right now um, to understand how to uncover the opportunity here. Um, we won't be in a high interest rate environment like this for forever. Uh, we're probably going to see interest rates be strong throughout the remainder of this year, maybe into some of next year. Um, but if you remember, you know, a very short time ago, two and a half years ago, rates were down near zero. And annuity products, although they definitely serve the purpose that they are designed to do, which is principal protected growth um, or lifetime income or legacy, uh, you know, and a couple other things like 
some of the hybrid products that provide LTC benefits, um, they're stronger now. And so we can take a policy that was purchased during that low interest rate environment and oftentimes find a much, much better solution for a client that even has a policy with a pretty significant surrender charge. But you want to do that in a responsible way. You want to act as a fiduciary for your client. And if you're following what um, the DOL is going to, going to be actually um, talking about the changes that the DOL is going to be making here within the next couple of days, um, if you're following that, then you know that you, even though you do not need to have a securities license in order to sell annuities and life insurance right now, you will, by pretty much every standard, be um, it's going to be necessary for you to act as a fiduciary for your client. You need to show that you've done your due diligence. So I want to show you how to do that, how to uncover those opportunities, and how to stay in compliance. So let's talk first about the opportunities. Um, a lot of the people that I work with, whenever I bring somebody on new to IMS, it's right now there are many different ways that people are getting in front of clients, but for anybody that's been in the industry for a while, it's um, let's go after the low-hanging fruit um, just to get started fast. Um, take advantage of that new producer bonus also. And a lot of that is just looking at policies that people have written um, dating back the past three-plus years typically. And um, I'm going to show you what we look at for that. Um, <clears throat> one of the things that we look at is going to be the surrender value versus the accumulated value of the account. Some other things that we look at are the enhanced death benefits and, and the income riders on the account. We'll go through all of that. Um, but that's the easiest way to uncover opportunity. Sounds obvious, but just like when I said earlier, you'd be surprised how many people don't have goals in 2024. You'd have a lot of, you may be surprised how many people don't look at their current book of business to see what clients could take advantage of a much better product. Um, if you have a policy that you wrote in about 2016 through 2018, 2019, uh, you go and look at that, the earning potential of a lot of those policies is just terrible. Um, COVID and the volatility we saw then made pricing very, very expensive for a lot of the different options on those policies. And most of them don't have the opportunity to earn more than about 3% at the top end. So it's a better situation for a client to take a look at a new opportunity. And I'm gonna detail that. The other thing I wanna talk about quickly is we do marketing that specifically targets people looking for replacement policies. So we have a, a program called the Annuity Rank that we're seeing a lot of success with. I've got uh, quite a few people who have, have, have been early adopters of this, and it's a strike while the iron's hot type of thing. Um, we ask people on social media, we, we use Facebook primarily for marketing this, and it's been very effective. Um, do you want to have a conversation with an advisor about your current annuity policy? Most people who respond yes to that are wanting to have a conversation with an advisor because their annuity is underperforming. And what sort of conversation does that lead to? So um, that's been a very, very good way to get in front of people looking to replace their current annuity policy. Um, and we get them, we get the details of their annuity policy and then get them over to you. If you'd like to have more information on that, please let me know. That's called the annuity rank. Um, but uh, that's been a successful way of, of finding people um, if you don't have that book of business to look over and go back and revisit those policies. Hopefully you're doing annual reviews with clients, but if you aren't, there's still a really good opportunity there. Um, so let's talk about that. I'm gonna share a document here. <clears throat> that, one last time, that's called the annuity rank. I really encourage you guys to take a hard look at that. Um, it's well worth the investment. Um, and if you, you know, get a fast start with us, that new producer bonus can cover the cost of it. So that's pretty cool. Um, okay. So this is a policy, and I redacted a bunch of the information. This is a policy that I just looked at recently with one of my advisors um, that is a pretty clear opportunity. And I'm going to highlight a couple of things here. So um, <clears throat> the first thing I always look at is the accumulated value versus the surrender value. You see on this, that's about four and a half thousand dollars of difference, you know, at 
at that value that's you know around just under three percent of a surrender charge um, that right there tells me that this um, would be replaceable um, by most carrier standards in fact by all carrier standards um, if you use a bonus product um, and we're very good about understanding because this is what we do all day we're very good about understanding you know what are the different um, things that carriers look at from a suitability perspective so if you sat down with me and reviewed kind of uh, some of your contracts I'd be able to help quickly tell you I kind of grade them with my advisors like this would be like a, I'd say an A there are some A pluses there are some A minuses but this is an A it's an easy opportunity and that's one reason here's another reason this is the return on this policy boy that was so crooked it didn't even straighten it out for me um, the return is 2.86% minus the 1.5% fee. So this, this client's getting about 1.3%. Unfortunately, that's just, that's terrible. Um, this policy is ripe for replacement. And I would say, acting as a fiduciary, it is absolutely in the client's best interest to find something to replace this with. Uh, one that I like to use gives you know anywhere between a 10 and a 14 percent no fee bonus and i'll be talking about these products later and outlining some of them um, and even provides like a three percent minimum guarantee on the fixed account so you can already guarantee your clients that they're going to earn twice as much in a contract if you want um, but they should be able to do quite a bit better than that so this is an easy easy win here both for you and your client but most importantly for your clients um, so an easy opportunity. Uh, let's take a look at another one here. And I, I left out a lot of the pages that showed the allocations and stuff. We'll take a look at that on another policy here in a second. But um, bottom line is they're not earning anything and the surrender charge isn't super significant on that one. All right, so this is a smaller policy. Um, accumulated value of 45,000, surrender value of 37,000. So if we do the math on that, um, let's just take a look at um, a typical bonus product, which right now is around 10%. You got 37,504 times 1.10. That gets you to about 41,000. So without a bigger bonus, um, your your client's not going to be made whole with a bonus product. Um, they probably wouldn't get this through suitability with any of the carriers that I'm aware of with the 10% bonus. You can take a look at a larger bonus product um, and as the bonus goes up, usually the earning potential goes down and compare that to what this client has earned. Um, we don't see that in this policy. I deleted those pages um, for the sake of this presentation, but the, the client was earning about 2% in this policy. Um, we could take a look at a huge bonus um, that would require a fee for this policy and maybe it would be suitable for the client but this one is pretty questionable and so you would want to take a deeper dive and I'm going to show you how to do that here in just a second um, but this is more of a questionable one if I was grading this I would grade this a C minus maybe a D um, and so what we want to do in this case is really um, put our fiduciary hat on and take a very educated look at the allocations, how they performed in this policy, um, and based on their current caps and par rates, what the expectation for them is over the next 10 years using history history as, as our data, that's the best we have to go by, compared to what we could get in a new product. And I'm gonna show you a tool that easily allows you to do that and put that data right in front of a client. So let's do that. And I know we've got some questions here. I'll get to those um, once I'm done um, going through this here. So here's another policy that um, just did recently. Um, we had this go through suitability. The case um, is just pending payment right now, but this, this will issue um, unless something completely unforeseen comes up. So this one, um, let's see here. Get my highlighter back out. Um, accumulation value of 25 and change um, and then after fees for the year it, it the account ends up at um, about 22745 there is a partial surrender on this one too um, 
the let's see the surrender value on this policy 21885 so this one you know a little easier to see that this is probably an opportunity for replacement considering there are so many different bonus products out there so let's take a look at what we did on this policy um, from a fiduciary standpoint this is a tool called Indexalyzer. Um, and this is a component of Indexalyzer called Reviewalyzer. Uh, fantastic product. A little bit of a learning curve. Um, I've done some webinars on this in the past. Um, this, gosh, guys, if, if, you know, the old saying, if it's, this is worth its weight in gold, I don't know what the digital weight of this is, but it's 25 bucks a month. You get this tool. You get a bunch of other tools that are um, come as part of Indexalyzer, and they're all extremely valuable. Um, and then you also get Journey Guide, which is a hundred dollar a month subscription on its own. You get all that for twenty five bucks, best deal in the industry. If you want more information on that, let me know. Um, but the the product that we were looking at has a current uh, accumulation value of 24,436 that Americo product um, the current allocation it was very simple that's why I chose this one it was easy to do um, for you guys has uh, the S&P is its allocation um, it was a two-year biennial point to point and the current par rate um, on that because it was a participation rate not a cap was 49 percent and um, the new par rate was going to be the renewal was at 40 percent par. Um, it had a fee on it of 1.75. So the 10-year return, when you factored in the fee, um, based on that previous um, par rate, was 3.09 percent. That's what they had earned up to this point on average in this contract. Um, they <clears throat> their new or excuse me, that's the that's based on the new 40%. Their new expected 10-year return at a 40% par rate on the S&P. If you look at historical data, and the best we have to look at is the last 10 years, which was actually a pretty good 10 years for the S&P, is still only 3.9%. Um, so can we do better for a client than that? Do you think, uh, you know, with today's current products, can we give them a better option than something that averages 3.9% net of fees? I think yes. And so here's one option that we looked at with my advisor. Um, the client decided to do this. Um, I think it's a very good option. Um, love them or hate them. Athene has some good accumulation products. Um, one of their best is the Athene Performance Elite 10 in most states. It gives you a 12% bonus, um, no fee. In this state that we were working in, it gave us an 11% bonus. So um, we took the surrender value on that policy of 23,718. Um, and it immediately factors, because of the bonus, the new starting balance of 26,327. And then we use three different allocations. We use the AI Power Global Opportunity Index, which is actually the best performing index over the last 10 years, if you didn't know that. And then we use two that are kind of in the top five. Uh, the best so far this year in the industry is the S&P 500 FC, fast convergence, and the best last year was the NASDAQ FC. So we just split it between those three because those, those three have done really well. And um, we also included a 30% drawdown in this strategy. Um, so you can include, like here, I'll show you real quick. Right now we did a 30% drawdown. We can change that to a 50% drawdown and it's actually going to impact um, what the return is on this, but um, you can show a reduction in the caps and rates because you don't just want to look at it from a first year rate standpoint. That's usually not a realistic um, apples to apples comparison. Um, hopefully we don't see as much volatility as we did around COVID and rates shouldn't be as impacted as they were during that time, but it's possible. Um, and so we, I like to include a drawdown just to give it a realistic comparison. So, so next, we can chart this out. So using a 50% drawdown, this is 50%. Um, it's probably not going to be that much. But using a 50% drawdown, um, the old product 
um, is giving them about a 3.09% rate of return based on historical data, looking at the S&P 500. The new product and allocation should provide them, and even though it's starting higher, um, and you can see that over here on the left, should provide them a 6.02% rate of return, even with a 50% drawdown. So that's pretty powerful. For, for anybody who doesn't need their money liquid in those accounts, that would be about the only reason I can think of why they wouldn't want to put it into a new product if they're wanting principal protected growth. That's pretty powerful. Do you want 3.09%? Or would you like something that gives you much more potential, even if we have what the performance could be? So that's pretty powerful to me. Um, I can show you how to use these tools. Your annuity sales director can show you how to use these tools. Um, but this is one of the easiest ways to demonstrate to your client how a replacement might make sense. So um, this is called Reviewalyzer. It comes as part of Indexalyzer. It's 25 bucks a month. I'm not trying to sell this. I'm just trying to show you what I do. Um, it's a very, very beneficial program. There's all sorts of other um, different things you can do with this. Like um, you can, if you're just having an annual review, you can actually show them this page, which just doesn't do a very good job of it. But you can show how you can change the different allocations to optimize what they're currently in. It provides a summary summary report um, that goes into detail about how each of their allocations is doing. Um, it'll tell you in this why um, an index may be underperforming um, because it'll go into detail about that particular index and show you um, how the rates are impacted. Then you put the new product in and you've got the comparison um, simply charted out. It's a really cool tool there. Um, I'm going to take a look at the questions here, um, but um, if you have any more questions, please let me know. Um, stay recording this presentation. Okay. Um, yeah, Bob, I can send you the link for this once we're done. Um, just so you guys are aware, all of our webinars, um, with very few exceptions, when for some reason we can't record them, um, sometimes there's like carrier specific things that they don't want recorded. All of our webinars are available at um, IAMS Inc. on YouTube. So we have a page called IAMS Inc. if you search on YouTube, and all of our webinars are available there, usually within a couple hours of having hosted them. Um, what is Journey Guide? We have Indexalyzer, and I wasn't aware there was an additional subscription. So Mike, um, yeah, when we first launched, um, when we first launched Indexalyzer, Journey Guide didn't come with it, but let me call you after we get done here. Um, but uh, yeah, you get this other tool. It's if you're familiar with a retirement analyzer or uh, track software or something like that. Um, this is a very similar program, but it's simplified. I really like that about Journey Guide, and it's easy to use, and it's got very, very consumer-facing materials, and it actually leverages um, behind the scenes. It leverages Reviewalyzer and Indexalyzer um, to, for a lot of its output, um, which is fantastic. Um, so Bob asks, what is a 50% drawdown? So Bob, when you get into a contract, you've got caps and par rates at whatever they are, you know, based on current rates, a 50% drawdown would assume that, um, the earning potential is halved. So if the cap on the S and P 500 is 10%, um, we're assuming we're basing the return on 5% just to show that even if the carrier decides to you know, really screw your caps and rates, which isn't a client, I mean, isn't a conversation you always want to get into with a client, I get it. Um, but for somebody who is interested in a replacement, they've probably seen that happen, honestly. And so they don't want to get burned again. We'll show them even if that happens again, you are still going to outperform because of how annuities are priced during a high interest rate environment. So a drawdown simulates what could happen if we see a lot of volatility again. Um, somebody asked, uh, Brian, you asked 50% or 30% drawdown. It really depends. I mean, I think that's based on what your client is going to ask, um, in the, in the, um, 
sorry, in your conversation with the client, if they feel like they've really been burned because they thought they were getting a product that gave them good growth potential and and their caps and rates just got absolutely jacked, then you can say, you know, it's my conversation would go something like this. It's unlikely that we're going to see something like COVID really screw up caps and rates because that's what happened. That volatility made pricing of these products and their and their different indices that they u- utilize it made pricing much more expensive for carriers to be able to offer that to their clients at current cap and par rates. Um, so even if we see volatility like that again, though, we can simulate that with this tool. It's more likely that we won't see a reduction in rates. Um, as significant. In fact, um, if you look at a lot of the top dogs in the industry, Allianz, Athene, um, Gillico, Delaware Life, um, a lot of them publish their renewal rates um, and have shown that on um, kind of their newer pricing structures, because a lot of them learned lessons about this, and I know we're getting into the weeds here, um, that they can maintain pricing much more effectively than they could, um, you know, previously, um, and they published those renewal rates, you know, 93% with some carriers, 98% of the time, their indices um, aren't seeing adjustments on their caps and their par rates. Um, So you can use a lot of that documentation depending on the carrier that you're using in a sales process. But even if a client is concerned about a reduction in their earning potential, you can simulate that. Okay, I think that's a majority of the questions. I've got a couple of questions for you guys, and then we will be finished up here. Um, oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm missing one major component here. Let's talk about product. Um, product is a huge part of what you guys will be using um, to have these replacement conversations. Um, so if you go to our website, you go to product, click on annuity, it'll take you to this page. You scroll down and go to index, that'll take you to index annuities, obviously fixed, will be fixed, MIGAs, um, income writer quotes, really useful tool here called annuity rate watch. I don't suspect that we have many people from Kansas in this room, but I am, so I'm gonna choose Kansas here. Um, I click search, and that will show me all of the products approved in Kansas. Um, Really important here, Um, it, sorts by surrender period, um, and most people don't want a 15-year surrender period. Most people don't want a 14-year. You know, that's going to be based on the conversation you have with your client, Um, but you can click on all these red boxes and it'll sort. I'm sorting by premium bonus here. We're still seeing a lot of 14-year product. I like to change the surrender period to 10 years, unless we're having a conversation about something other than 10 years, obviously. And then I like to sort by premium bonus. And this gives me the largest bonus products in the industry. We got some really good ones right now that I'm super excited about. One that just launched a couple of days ago. Some of these have fees. Some of them don't. This will typically tell you the fee right here. um, Although that's not always entirely accurate. Here's one that I want to highlight real quick. This just launched a a couple of days ago. Most of you haven't done business with Ibexis. I've done a lot of business with Ibexis. Um, They are a fantastic group, um, only a few years old, um, but they've been big in the MIGA space. They're quickly expanding into the FIA space. They're A-rated, A-minus rated, I should say. They just launched the largest bonus product in the industry that does not have a fee. Um, It's rate banded, um, but 16% in almost every state it's approved. and if you've got somebody that needs to get out of a bad situation, this is a good product. So you can click on it, go to rates. Um, man, it has some features that I really want to talk about here, but we don't have the time for it. Um, it's got different floors you can lock in and really increase your earning potential. Um, but it's got, you know, for a product with a 16% bonus, it has a fairly attractive um par rate on the S&P 500 right now, or excuse me, cap on the S&P 500 at 7.5%. It's a lot better than most of those replace, I mean, contracts you'll be replacing. And then it's got some other volatility controlled indices as well. Um, but I love that product. Um, I think Ibexis is knocking it out of the park. They have a five and a seven year version. The five year version has an 8% bonus on it. 
somebody looking for a short-term solution with some earning potential, that's outstanding. The seven-year has an 11% bonus, no fees on that. Awesome product. In fact, I wanted to highlight that if you would like to be contracted with Ibexis so you can sell that, let me know. They're very, very quick about contracting. They've got excellent service. Um, they're one of my very favorite carriers in the industry right now. Let me know if you would like that, and we'll move on here quickly. Um, but I wanted to highlight a couple other products that we use oftentimes for bonus and show you guys how to quickly access this on our website as well. Um, Silac has some good stuff um, that has no fee. And actually, you can sort by no fee here if you'd like at the top. So now we're just looking at bonus products that do not have a fee associated with them. Um, although in some cases like this Charter Plus product, uh, the, to get the 19% there is a fee, but the 10% there is no fee. So it's kind of quirky. Um, but here are the ones that I really like that I use all the time. Use Ibexis. Uh, we do use North American quite a bit. Um, these all have good bonuses that will quickly allow you to help a client out. American Life has a 14% no fee bonus. So does Augustar. Those were the two largest until Ibexis just took that from them. This is new from Allianz. Love them or hate them. Allianz has fantastic product. 13% um, no fee bonus. Some really cool features on that product. Um, a scene performance elite 10. Number one accumulation product in the industry. Right there. You saw us use it and um, that review realizer that we did on that Americo product a second ago. Um, Global Atlantic has gotten into the game recently, um, replacement conversation. The carriers are showing you that the timing is perfect for this because that's what they're building their products for right now is for these replacement conversations. It's right for the client. It's right for you. Everybody wins. Atlantic Coast, um, Sentinel, of course, same, same company there. <clears throat> Everybody's got a good product. In, in this ballpark. Look how many products we have above a 10% bonus. But the ones I wanted to highlight, Aspita is actually really, really good too. So that's one to consider, but they they only go up to 10%, but they've got um, some features about them I really like. But the ones I really wanted to highlight are Augustar, American Life, Allianz, Silac, and Ibexis. All have products above 14% right now. And if you can't get a client out of a bad situation with a bonus like that, then we can step up a little bit and even use something that has a 1% fee on it. I don't think that's always necessary, but uh, bottom line is let's go after that low hanging fruit and take advantage of those opportunities because those opportunities will not be there when interest rates drop and um, get your client into a better situation now and everybody wins. So, any other questions before we get finished up? Uh, if you do have additional questions, let me know. Um, I am happy to have a conversation with you guys as my time allows. Um, and your annuity sales director or life sales director um, should be available and capable of having that conversation as well. But I will make sure they get that information. All right, folks, I went a little longer than I expected it to. Um, I don't see any more questions, um, but if you do have them, please reach out to me, Matt Sabala, um, and I would be happy to help you out. Again, my email address is Matt S, as in Sam, at imsinc.com, or you can reach me at 800-255-5055. And if you'd like, you can actually text me too. Um, and I have that number at the bottom of any of my emails. So happy to help you guys. Appreciate the business. And we will see you on the next webinar.